Here we have the outside of the Eldest Majestic 135. As we move along, we will firstly come to the external shower point. So to remove the dust cover, just push on the blue collar and it will pop out. If we now grab the external shower hose and plug it in, as long as the 12 volt on and the water pump is turned on, it will then go directly under pressure and then push again to remove. We then have fresh water fill point, so to fill up your fresh water tank, hose pipe in here. As you can see, it's also lockable. To drain off the fresh water tank for winterization, etc., it's just done at this point here. Next we have the flue for the space heater. We do not need to do anything with this, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. And then we have the grey water drain just here, so anything that goes down your plug holes is then directly put into the underslung tank and then is drained off at this point here. Directly above we have the FET for cassette toilet, lift up on the handle and then pull towards you to remove before use. Remove the cap and add your toilet chemical. Also empties from here, just remember that when emptying, hold down the button to release the vacuum inside. It's also a very good idea to keep the seal lubricated. Fetford do their own silicon spray, but any silicon based lubricant is absolutely fine. And this is a very good easy way to then give it a good clean. These are all now on wheels with extendable handles. Next we have the flue for the water heater. Again, we don't need to do anything with this just make sure that nothing is obstructing it and then we have the spare wheel underslung just here winds down at that point just there underneath your passenger seat there's the jack and wheel brace kit and in there you'll find a bar that goes into that location hole attach the brace to it and then the spare wheel will wind down as we move round to the rear You'll see the rear view camera just here and then the hatch that then gains us access to the rear of the van just here. We then have the battery locker just here. Mains hook up just there. We then have the vents for the Dometic fridge. This motorhome does come with winter covers, so if you are using the van in extremely cold climate, we can pop these on just here. Flathead screwdriver or a key in both of these to clamp it on, and then the fridge will just vent along the bottom thus holding in some heat and running efficiently in cold weather. Obviously in warmer climate these are not required or otherwise the fridge will overheat. We then have the external barbecue point just here. You'll see at the moment that the actual adapter itself is just attached with a cable tie. So once we've removed this, attach this rib part to the hose of the barbecue and then pop a Jubilee clip on it. This end here will then insert into here and once it's locked into place you'll then be able to turn the gas on. To release it just push the collar up and it will then pop back out again. Next we have the gas locker. 
so we have plenty of room in here for two bottles you'll see the regulator just here and then the hose comes off the regulator and then screws into the probane bottle and then it's tightened with a gas spanner bottle on and off on the top do make sure that the bottle is off for travel we then have the Dometic roll-out canopy we can also see the Teleco television aerial just there we do need to make sure that that is fully down for travel and then diesel fill just here fuel cap undone on the ignition key and then add blue top up just underneath.